hey y'all welcome back to my channel i'm chelsea if you're new so today we're going to be doing a review on a new foundation it's the nyx born to glow foundation this foundation is only ten dollars dollars in my auntie jackie voice dollars so that's a steal so we are just going to be testing out the longevity of the foundation we're going to be talking about the coverage the price the color range everything you need to know about this foundation so if you're interested in seeing and i'm doing a watch uh, um a wear test too my bad doing a wear test too so if you're interested in seeing all that make sure you keep on watching hey so before we get into the foundation i'm just going to touch on two points real quick lashes and hair is both from my boutique bougie baddie luxury boutique it'll be down in the description bar because i always get so many questions about my lashes and my hair this is our brazilian deep wave i just wet the hair and detangled it so it's really really pretty right now and this hair is almost a year old all right so we're just gonna get straight into this review here is the foundation the foundation we will be reviewing and testing out and all of that is the nyx born to glow naturally radiant foundation and it's 1.1 fluid ounce um just to speak on packaging a little bit i do prefer a squeeze tool but only because i can get all my product I want I want a foundation that's in a squeeze too with the pump because yeah I'm getting all of my product but at the same time I feel like with squeeze tubes I use a lot more product than I would with the pump because I don't exactly know how much to put on so with my Juvia's place for example I feel like I would wear too much of that but it was no way to put it back in a container so it's kind of like you know it's on but i mean it's okay the foundation is ten dollars so we can't be asking for too much so now that we touched on the physical packaging i already told you guys the price the price was only ten dollars i feel like that's a good price because the last foundation next came out with was the can't stop won't stop and that was about sixteen dollars so it's good to see you know they still make stuff that's kind of affordable because sixteen dollars yeah it's affordable compared to like a mark jacobs foundation and everything but that's kind of steep for drugstore so yeah and i got mine from ulta and if you go to ulta they always have coupons this time they had 20 percent off so it took two dollars off and i got this for eight dollars a great deal just opening it up it, mine is already open because I have tested this out and I did a wear test. It'll be at the end of the video. Just open it up and just looking at it. I don't know if you just seen that, but it came out super watery. This foundation isn't a foundation that I would be instantly drawn to. Like when I seen Juvia's Place come out and I seen how thick it was and how full coverage it was, I had to have it. This foundation, what made me even want to test out this foundation and do a review is because I seen Tierra Walker's um video and foundation review and it looked really good but again she's dry skin and i'm oily skin and her favorite foundation is the nars naturally radiant and you know this is naturally radiant so just considering all that this foundation is more for a dry skin person that's why i did prep my skin using the can't stop won't stop which is like a really matte primer so that you know hopefully with the matte primer and the you know radiant glowy foundation i can get a just a regular face not too glowy not too matte so that's what i'm aiming for also the color range is really good in this foundation they have 45 different shades so you should be able to find your match instantly well not necessarily instantly because 45 shades is a lot but you should be able to at least have a match i'm the color walnut and out of 45 shades it's six shades after me and i'm a dark girl like let me give you an example i am nw58 in mac so i'm a i'm a dark girl like i'm, I'm dark skinned <laughs> For real, for real. You know how sometimes you see these YouTubers and you think they're dark, but they're really not. Like, they really are 
you know, like I'm actually really dark. And then on top of me being dark, my neck is even darker because I suffer from discoloration. So I just said a mouthful. So now we're just going to test out the foundation. I'm going to be using a e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. foundation blurring brush. It's a little dirty, but it ain't that dirty because I've been using the, um, in between like washing my brushes and stuff, I use the e.l.f. little cleaner. So we just going to, I guess, last time I used this foundation, I just, you know, put it on my face and I wanted to use the foundation before because I wanted to you know I wanted to test it out and that time I was able to do a wear test and that's why I'm gonna put it at the end of the video I just wanted to test it out before I actually test it out if that makes sense but we're just gonna begin to put it on so since some of them already squeezed out I'm gonna just see I don't know we're gonna do that much Wow. Cut. Let's try this again. We're just going to do like the same thing on that side. And we're just going to start blending it out with our brush. I don't smell a smell, so that's really good. It's looking a little, on camera to me, it's kind of looking a little lighter than, like I should have got a dark color. That's what it's kind of looking like. But to be honest with y'all, when I went into my Ulta, I was convinced that this was the darkest shade. I don't think that my Ulta have the complete, I don't think my Ulta have the complete shade range. Because I really thought walnut was the darkest. And I remember thinking like, no, this can't be right. Because I remember when I picked up the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation, I was chestnut. And girl, to be my skin color and called chestnut and still have so many colors left was like amazing. So I just knew that NYX wouldn't start something that they couldn't finish because... That would have been very weird. But, it, like, this found it looks really good. Like, it looks really good. And for it to be a medium coverage, I don't know if I told y'all, but... I don't know if I told y'all, but it is medium coverage. But they said it's buildable. So, for it to be a medi medium coverage foundation, it's looking so good. And on, on top of all of that, for $10... Because you know how sometimes, like, okay, my favorite foundation right now is, other than Juvia's Place, we're not going to talk about Juvia's Place. We're going to talk about a more expensive foundation. So, Kat Von D is kind of expensive. It's about $35. So, that and the Bounce, um, the Beauty Blender Foundation, those two are my favorite right now. So... You know, people don't want to, I think it takes maybe about six months if you're consistently using one foundation. Maybe less than six months, honestly. I don't consistently use one foundation, so I don't know how long it takes to just use one foundation. But let's just say three months. You don't want to keep switching, uh, you know, keep rebuying an expensive-ass foundation every three months. That's ridiculous. Y'all, get into this. Look at this. This foundation looks so good. And it is the perfect, it's like, I see the radiant. Like when I turn, you can see how radiant it looks. But it's not too radiant. It's not like grease ball. It's just like radiant. Now I'm going to take a little bit and put on my neck. And that's where we're going to really see how the coverage covers because my neck is very dark compared to, you know, like my chest and my face. So we're going to see, we're just going to put like two little dots. And we're just going to 
blend it out and it does look really light compared to my neck because my neck is darker so it's actually not the same color but you know when you my color you learn how to finesse stuff you when you are dark like me you really learn how to finesse stuff because we weren't always privileged to have all these 45 different shades, honey. I would have to learn how to make hazelnut work for me, knowing I'm a dark cocoa. So, girl, let me tell you something. I'm a, I'm the queen of finessing shit. Literally the queen of finessing. Honey, when you ain't you when you ain't always half, y'all don't don't get me to preaching now. Please don't get me to preaching. So, initial review on this foundation is, it looks really good. I can tell that it is a radiant, like, glowy foundation. For it to be medium coverage, she showed out. Because, like, right here, you can see before I put on the foundation, my cheeks are darker. My neck is darker. And everything is looking really good right now. Like, I could, this is a foundation that I would wear if I were, like, in like an office or something when you don't want to do too much but you don't want to just go dry face it pop this on pop a little concealer on and you out the door i love this i love this i'm looking for my powder because i want to set it i want to set my whole face i want to set my whole face i'm doing exactly what i did the other day when i did the wear test All right the powder was in my purse y'all hate i hate when i do that you know like how sometimes like when you're going out like i grab this brush and my powder always to throw in my purse and you know of course whatever lip i'm wearing but when it's time to use it again you like oh my god where's my stuff and it's in your purse girl i hate that <clears throat> so now i'm just going to set the whole face because this is just what i do i'm not going to do nothing new this foundation gets no exceptions none just do the rest of my face but i'm not gonna be talking through or nothing i may just end up playing music or you know something but that's what i'm going to do now just do the rest of my face and then i'm gonna come back i'm gonna do this wear test and i'm gonna tell y'all everything i think and whether or not it's even worth your ten dollars because yeah ten dollars is just ten dollars but at the end of the day it's your ten dollars you should be able to spend your $10 on what you want to spend your $10 on and be satisfied. So, I'm going to let y'all know. finished doing my makeup um everything looks really good like everything i used worked together with each other so well and that's something i'd be kind of scared about because you know certain products don't mix with certain products it can make you look green it can make you look yellow like but this really i hate when hair get on my lash and they start going down 
everything looks really good. I'm gonna get close up. And now we're just gonna get into the wear test. All right, so as you can see, it is 4.49 p.m. So I'm getting ready to leave, but I just wanted to come in and check in real quick. It is seven o'clock and everything is looking good. It's been a few hours. Nothing has really broken down, spread it, did nothing crazy. And I'm not looking like oily as fuck. Even my nose and my nose is like an area where I get really oily. So I'm looking good. Just want to check in. It's seven o'clock. See y'all in a couple more hours. All right. It is 10 30 p.m. All right. So I just showed y'all it's 10 30 p.m. And we're back where we started from. So it's been about. I think it was almost five when I first showed y'all the time. So it's been about five or six hours and haven't blotted, haven't done anything. And we're looking pretty good. This areas around my mouth usually break up really bad and it haven't broken up that bad. So that's really good. That is really, really good. My nose area is the area where I usually get like really shiny. And it's it's pretty shiny, but I did put highlighter on my nose, so that could be that too. So it's really not bad. Honestly, I could go a few more hours, but I'm not. I'm home. I'm tired, ready to take this makeup off. So that's what I'm about to do. So I would definitely say go out and try this foundation. It's definitely worth ten dollars. This is my new everyday foundation um it looks really good it lasts for several hours i haven't experienced no oxidization or anything like that so i would definitely say go out and try right, y'all so i hope you enjoyed this video and i really do hope this video gave you some insight on a foundation and you're able to determine if it's for you or not me being a more oily person it works well for me and it's I would, I feel like the foundation is for dry skin. So if you are oily, just make sure you use like a matte primer and you will be fine. It's not like excessive. So I really did enjoy this foundation. This will probably be my new like everyday foundation. Like when I just want to throw something on when I don't want to look dry faced it. I just want to throw something on and run out the house. I definitely will use this because number one it's only ten dollars eight dollars if you use a coupon number two is lightweight but it's buildable so you can you can determine if you want just something sheer if you want it fuller you know you could put more on okay mess up my video but i like that you have that option um I really like it. I hope you guys try it out. If you already tried it, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you plan on trying it, let me know what you think. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.